The other day on the podcast, I was asked a really, really interesting question. And Evan and I, we get asked a lot of questions, but this one stayed with me. And the question was, what are the three things that you hope to teach your kids? Now, I have four kids, and I can tell you that every single child is different. Every kid is different, especially if you're a parent. But the reason this stuck with me is there's so many things I wanna teach them, but there are three core things. Whether these are for my kids or not, these are three things that I hope everyone would come to know. So as I said, I have four kids, and every child is different. And so I would prefer to say like, okay, Rachel, my 13-year-old daughter, I would love to give her three tips just for her. And my son, Jonah, who's 11, and Silas, who's, who's eight years old, and then my littlest, Jordan, she's six. Every, oh, they're so different. So of course I would give to each one three different pieces of advice, but if there were three universal things that I just wish that my kids knew, there are three things that I wish I knew. There are three things that I wish my team knew. There are three things that I wish just everyone not only understood, but actually believed in. And that's this. Number one, you are loved. Most of us feel incredibly lonely at times. We feel like we're the only person, like we're doing something that no one else has done, that we don't have a tribe, that we don't have a family, that we don't have a team, that no one understands us. And I just want my kids to know, I want everyone else to know, I want you to know, that no matter how you feel, you are loved. Whether you've made mistakes, whether you're doing the greatest accomplishments of your life, or you're seeing the biggest failures that you will ever see, you are loved by someone or by something. You are not alone. Everyone who's here is a child of someone else. Whether you're strange to your family or not, there is someone in your life that loves you for exactly who you are. Not who you pretend to be, not who you wish you were, you are loved. I want my kids to know that no matter what they do or who they become, that no matter how angry I am with them, that they are loved and you are too. Lesson number two, you have a gift. Each one of us has within ourselves strengths and weaknesses. Maybe you can make people laugh. Maybe you're really, really thoughtful or caring. Maybe you really understand people and how they feel. Maybe you're really logical and you can think through problems for people. No matter what it is, ignore like the skill sets or the crafts or things like that, just deep within you. You have a, a gift that you were born with or you were given or that's just a part of you. And for my kids, I would just be so sad for them if they didn't figure out what this gift is. I think I know what their gift is, but I want them to know what it is. And if they didn't use it, if they didn't live it. My littlest daughter, Jordan, who's six, from the time that she was 10 months or 12 months old, she'd be sitting in her high chair and she would just laugh. Not like a little giggle, like laugh from like her, her tummy, like a belly laugh. She found things so over the top from a delight point of view. And then we find her being the one who's singing and dancing and spinning around in the living room when she's you know two or three years old. And now that she's six, she's like in competitive dance. And I don't know if dancing's her gift or not, but I do know, having watched her grow up for the last six years, that her expressions and how much she feels things and how she leads others, like this is like her personality, the way she shines, the way that you can see in her eyes when she's the happiest of happy or the, the saddest of being sad, that is a gift that she has. You have a gift that makes you, you. And just as sad as I would be if my kids didn't figure it out and didn't use it and didn't live it and didn't make it a part of their lives, I would just be just as sad to be able to sit across from you and meet you and find out that you are not living and you are not using the gifts that you have been given. And lesson number three, really, really good things take a lot of hard work. Somewhere along the way, we got tricked into believing that things should be easier than they are, and they're not. Great things are never easy. You can get lucky, something can fall into your lap, but, but big picture, things aren't easy. The challenges you face that you overcome turn you into the person that you're called to be, that you need to be. And so when I ask my kids to do something, or when I challenge them to face a fear, or face a challenge, or frankly, just take out the garbage, it comes down to that good things 
take a tremendous amount of hard work. You want to run a great household? It takes a lot of hard work. You want to build a business? You want to go back to school? You want to move across the country? No matter what it is, anything that is worth doing is a ton of hard work. And so the reason why I have these three things, the fact that I want them to know that they're loved, that I want them to find their gift and I want them to work hard, it comes down to this. I don't care if they go to university or not. I don't care if they get married or not. I don't care if they're successful or not. The only things that matter to me is that they know that they are loved no matter what they do, that they have a gift that I want them to find and then they gotta work their tails off to make something happen. I remind myself of that. When I feel like I've let a client down, or I've let the team down, or if I'm just not good enough, I have to remind myself, you know what, no matter what, all of that stuff's happening, I'm loved by somebody. And then I have to remind myself that, you know what, I do all of these things that aren't my gifts. Why am I beating myself up and getting myself mad for not being good at things that are outside my gifts? Meanwhile, I'm ignoring all these things that I'm amazing at. Why am I not focusing more time on those things? And then of course, like everyone else, I just think things should be easier. I turn to people and I go, surely it shouldn't be this hard. Like this hard? This is just too hard. Why am I doing this to myself? It shouldn't be this hard. Then I remind myself that not only do Dragers do hard things, but that anything worth doing takes a lot of work. And so I want my kids to know this. I have to remind myself of this. But more than anything, I want you to know this too. Something that also holds me back is that I make a lot of excuses. If you wanna learn how to stop making excuses, check out the video right there. I think you'd like it a lot, and I will see you there.